Good morning, Toucans, and welcome to Motivated Monday. I hope you are feeling very motivated, ready to go with your learning. This is our last week before half term. So, go, 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 go with that learning. So, this week we are going to be thinking about spiders, and this is our book of the week. It's called The Very Busy Spider, and the author and illustrator is Eric Carle, who is the same person who did The Very Hungry Caterpillar. He really does like his books about mini bees, doesn't he? So, let's have a look at The Very Busy Spider. On the back, the blurb, it says, Early one morning, the wind blew a spider across the field. A thin, silky thread trailed behind her body. The spider landed on a fence post near a farmyard and began to spin a web with her silky thread. Right, so let's get started. Here we go. There's the beginning of the story. So, early one morning, I want you to have a little think about some of the story language that you can recognise in here. So, early one morning, that's great story language for starting a story. Because we don't always have to start with once upon a time. But something like early one morning, one fine day, something like that is a great way to start a story too. So, early one morning, the wind blew a spider across the field. A thin, silky thread trailed from her body. Here we go, you can see the thin, silky thread. The spider landed on a fence post near a farmyard and began to spin a web with her silky thread. And look, you can see the sun there because it's early in the morning, so the sun is just rising. There we go, and there's our little spider. And as we read, I want you to see if you can notice some repetitive language, some repeated language. Nay, nay, said the horse. Want to go for a ride? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. There she is. Moo, moo, said the cow. Want to eat some grass? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. It's getting bigger. Ba ba bleated the sheep. Want to run in the meadow? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. What can you tell your adult about the language in the story that you've noticed so far? <laughs> said the goat. Want to jump on the rocks? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Grunted the pig, all in the mud. The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. <laughs> Barked the dog. Want to chase a cat? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Look at that web. It's growing, isn't it? Meow, meow, cried the cat. Want to take a nap? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Quack, quack, called the duck. Want to go for a swim? The spider didn't answer. She had now finished her web. What do you think of that finished web? Mm, pretty impressive. cock a doo, -doo crowed the rooster. Want to catch a pesky fly? And the spider caught the net, it caught the fly in her web just like that. <gasps> What's she going to do with the fly? That's a little hint. Hoo, hoo, asked the owl. Who built this beautiful web? The spider didn't answer. She had fallen asleep. It had been a very busy day. My goodness, that spider was busy. So, why did she need to build the web? Do you think she made the right choice building the web rather than joining in with all the different things that the animals 
asked her to do. And how many of those animals can you name? Can you list them? Plus, did you answer that question? What did you notice about the language in the story? Okay, we're going to pop the questions and the more below to inspire your literacy for today. Can't wait to see it. Bye for now, my darlings.